Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, it's the third leading cause of death in the U.S. For those who suffer, they know it's debilitating effects on their health and quality of life. Just think about not being able to breathe all the time. Until now, no treatment could reverse the course of COPD. Well, Dr. Bill Johnson of Innovations Medical, I'm sorry, uh, Innovations Stem Cell Center, today is here to talk to us about his new options, and he brought along one of his patients. This is Ron Scroggins. Thank you for being here. Good morning. Now, I'm morning. typically talking about something else, but today we're going to change it up a little bit that can ultimately help a lot of a lot of people so we hear about stem cell therapy often but what exactly does it do well we can use the example of, of cutting your finger to kind of illustrate because when you cut your finger there are damaged cells that release chemicals called growth factors and these growth factors call in cells to clean up the damage and then stem cells which are the cells that come in actually multiply and lay down the new tissue. So all the healing done in our bodies is really done by stem cells. So when we're doing stem cell therapy, what we're doing is we're taking stem cells from your fat, your own cells, and then delivering it where your body doesn't do it well or doesn't do it at all. And what kind of problems are we helping with this stem cell therapy? Well, we're, we're helping a long list, but in particular this morning, we want to talk about lung disease or COPD because it doesn't, it's not had historically a treatment that could do anything about the underlying lung function. And is that the problems that Ron had? That's exactly what Ron had. So he's here to tell us about his experience. All right, Ron, let's talk about before C uh, before you turn to Dr. Bill Johnson um, and the cell, stem cell therapy, what was life like? Well, I was on oxygen. I had to sleep in oxygen. Uh, most of my hobbies gardening. So if I'd go outside and everything, when I'd come in, I'd have to uh, get on my oxygen. My COPD was caused by a reaction from an Agent Orange from, Vi from the Vietnam War that I had. Hadn't had a cigarette in over 35 years, as far as that goes. But uh, I was on oxygen all the time, shortness of breath, and there was only alternative, one alternative at that time, and that was a lung transplant, which at right, at my age, I'm over 70 years old, so it was absolutely something that was out of the question. Now, what was your experience like during the, the process? The procedure with Dr. Johnson is very simple, uh, relatively painless. He pulled the stem, good stem cells from the fat in my body and injected it, and I intravenously had the stem cell and I had held, uh, breathe in, was breathing in the stem cell. So right now, I'm back walking, doing my walking, doing my gardening. I haven't used my oxygen in months. So I can see today you're feeling great. I feel fantastic. That is, I see you smiling ear to ear. <laughs> I really do. Man, well, I'm very, very happy for you you to, to know that now there is an answer. In fact, Dr. Bill, let's talk about this. What do you see stem cell therapy doing for these patients with COPD? We're still talking really small numbers, but if you look at the graph of normal, what happens with COPD, patients lose about 1% to 1.5% of their lung function every month. We've seen with the stem cells that after we do the treatments, they're improving in lung function about half a percent per month. So we're actually changing the long-term course of the disease and there's not been a treatment in the past that had the ability to do that. Now we touched on this a little bit earlier, but remind us maybe some other disorders that the fat cell derived stem cell therapy will help. Well, we've got by far the most numbers on arthritis or osteoarthritis, the degenerative joint disease, works really nicely hips, shoulders, knees. We've also seen a really dramatic improvement with neuropathy cases. Really? And yeah, wow. really, really impressive. And we're helping a lot of neuropathy patients that no other treatments are, are benefiting. We're doing great work with a lot of other neurologic disorders. We've also do a lot of work with uh, erectile dysfunction soup and uh, that corner thing as well. I, mean, I know that list is continuing to grow but we're so happy to have Ron on to give us your testimony here and I see how happy you are. Dr. Bill, thank you so much for coming in and bringing this to Good Morning Texas. Here's the number to call. Maybe you have some questions, or some concerns, just want to find out more. It's 214-669-6948. For more about stem cell therapy or log on to innovationsstemcellcenter.com. I want to bring you up to date now on some breaking news out of Rowlett this morning. The city's 911 system is down. They are experiencing multiple issues. Right now, calls for Rowlett are going to Garland instead. And on top of that, 
Calls that do go through are ghost calls. That means there's no voice on the other end. So at the bottom of your screen, we're showing you now the alternate number you should call if you have an emergency until this issue is resolved. Um, it's right there again at the bottom of your screen. In the meantime, we want to check in with Detective Cruz Hernandez with the city of Rowlett, joining us now by phone this morning. And I understand that this has been going on since 10 o'clock last night. Um, can you bring us up to date on what's being done to fix it? Yes, uh, it started at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock last night. Frontier provides our services for 911. They they are involved. They are trying to resolve the 911 issue, but as of right now, we are still down. Now, have you had any issues at all with Frontier in the past? We we have not. Other than the time when we got hit by the tornado, uh, they they've been.